Ron DeSantis is in a little bit of trouble. And by trouble, I mean, um, he has to turn over records regarding his little migrant flight to Martha's Vineyard political stunt. Ron DeSantis has 20 days to hand over all kinds of records regarding um, the money they use. A Florida judge on Tuesday found that Ron DeSantis' office is not following the state's public record laws. Circuit judge, uh, who was nominated and appointed by Rick Scott, rebutted the governor's attorney's claims that they should have until December 1st, telling them that he was being nice by giving them 20 days. He could have given them 48 hours. The long and short of it is that a group sued for these records. And in Florida, you got to turn them over. And the best part of it all is what I think it's going to show. COVID relief money that was given to the state of Florida by the federal government was used to fund this program, which obviously is not COVID relief in any way, shape, or form for the state of Florida. So essentially, Ron DeSantis took money that was earmarked for something else and spended it on his little pet project, which was not legal. And the icing on the fucking cake of all of this is what he is doing in the state of Florida right now with the hurricane in cleanup. After he played games with these Venezuelan migrants, promising them housing and, and jobs if they got on this plane and went to Massachusetts, those same Venezuelan migrants that he used as pawns, he's now using them to come to Florida and work cleaning up the mess that Hurricane Ian left behind. In fact, the behavior is so despicable, the Tampa Bay Times ran an entire piece on it. And it tells the story of one gentleman who just so happened to cross paths with Perla. He was then promised a free charter flight to Delaware, which, which I and others disrupted. And when he learned the flight had been canceled because Ron DeSantis and company got figured out, they abandoned him. But apparently, according to Ron DeShitstain, migrants are only okay when they're here to do the manual labor fucking lazy Americans don't want to do themselves. Who would have thought?